Hello everyone, how are you? Hope you're having a great day and I hope you guys have enjoyed the new intro I came up with. A little funny story. The intro was actually a little bit longer. <laughs> I had to cut it down in length because when, they, when I went to upload it to StreamYard, which is where I put it so I could do the intro to the video <laughs> when I do my reacts, you know what StreamYard told me? It's the file's too big. <laughs> They only allow for 300 megabytes and mine was over that, so I had to cut it down. So even StreamYard was saying it's too long, it's too much, do something. So I cut it down just a little bit, but hey, it was no big deal. But it was just funny that even StreamYard's like, it's too long, do something. I'm like, no, I spend time making that. Don't, don't be the boss of me, go away. <laughs> so what are we doing today? Well, Natter's, accomplice, girlfriend, whatever you want to call her, Didi Lulu made a community post. Strange, Didi, strange how you've had a channel for a minute. You are over 2K subscribers and you barely posted anything, but then all of a sudden you want to make community post after community post. Isn't it funny that you're just starting up this crap right when Natter and Chantal are starting up their crap? So this isn't planned. This isn't scripted. You guys all working together. I beg to differ. I think you are an accomplice to Natter the same way that Pete is an accomplice to Chantal. That Chantal and Natter are the main plot characters. You guys are just the accomplices to help them in whatever way they need, to back them up, to lie for them. So you're part of this you're getting the financial benefits so you will say whatever it is you need to say to keep this thing going because you are benefiting from this but this post that i'm looking at right now which we're going to go over and Dee, i'm going to prove how wrong you are not that it's hard to do but i'm still going to do it it would seem like everybody on that side of the fence is really really bothered they're really bothered by people saying this is all fake this is all scripted it's planned those of us that are reactors and those of you in the reaction community this is not news to us though we, we've been known about this we have known hints have been dropped clues have been left and we picked them all up i mean they make it obvious that this is planned chantal will do a live and then directly after that natter will do a live and then she'll do one. Sometimes they'll both do one at the same time. I mean, how much more proof do you need that they're working together? Natter having to wait on Chantal to get money every month. There's so many things, so many things. But you know what, Didi? I got time right now. I got a very busy day planned. So I got time right now, Mama. I got time for your post. I got time to pull it apart. So let's just do this. So here's Dee Dee's page and she writes, I have been noticing some reaction channels insinuating that there might be a chance that Natter and Chantal are still in cahoots in regards to the so-called drama these days. I can assure you 1 million percent that Natter has not spoken to Chins since last summer. When we called the police, and had a harassment report filed on her. This is facts. As I said in my previous post, Chins was blowing up his phone for most of the year in 2022. She wanted to see Natter no matter what, but also wanted to keep her beezers happy by continuing to lie to them, pretending that she is done with him. She even went as far as raging and blocking them when they called her out on some inconsistencies and all that time they were right. But we know Chantal, she does no wrong. Everyone else is always at fault and how dare you question her, right? She wanted to make sure that she still keeps her subs and that her income would not be affected so she lied constantly. And she is still lying to this day. But this time it is all out of jealousy and revenge. She wants all of her beaters to hate and despise Natter and I. So once again, to all reaction channels out there speculating, stop these rumors. 
No one is cahooting or going in between Natter and Shins at all. She wishes. And then she gives all kinds of hashtags. So you said what you said, Dee Dee. You said what you said. Here's where you have a seat and listen to me. Here's where I prove that you're wrong. Because your guy, Natter and Chantal, they're both incredibly alike. And one of the ways that they're incredibly alike is they both have a big mouth. They're both cocky and arrogant and they both have big mouths. They just can't keep their mouths shut, especially when they're high or drunk. They will run the mouth. And one of the things that Natter has said recently, this was not just a few months ago, he even said on his live stream that Chantal sent him a picture of Sala. And Sala wasn't around last summer, was he? No, he wasn't. He's just a recent plot character that got added to the show for interest and for deflection purposes. So Sala wasn't around last summer. And yet she sent him a picture of Sala, which is weird. If you're with a new dude, why would you send a picture of the new dude to the ex or the ex lover? So you're wrong. You're lying. They've been in contact this whole time. They've been talking this whole time. And even if that weren't true, Dee Dee, even if that weren't true, they're still communicating. They're communicating through YouTube. He'll do live streams about her talking not only about her, but I think to her. And Chantal will do the same. As a matter of fact, when Chantal found out that Natter was going to go live or he was live during her live, she got excited. And she goes, oh, let me go check. She actually got happy and excited. I showed the clip of my react just a few minutes ago. Imagine that a woman who swears someone has been abusive to her and getting excited over seeing your abuser. This is the behavior that she did last summer. She's still doing it now. So often they will do live streams where they're not just talking about each other, but rather to each other. Sometimes the titles of the live streams aren't for the audience. They are for each other, to get each other's attention, especially when they're mad. The many times that Chantal has done live streams where she will put stuff in the title just to get Natter's attention, they are focused on each other. And you are just over on the side. You're a place to live for Natter. That's why he's with you, because you are a place to live. And without you, he'd be out on the street. So he's using you for that convenience. But when Chantal comes back, she's got the money. He's going to spend time with her. And maybe you're okay with that and maybe you're not. But to sit there and tell the audience, oh, he hasn't talked to her. Sorry, don't believe it. She sent him pictures. And obviously, he did not have her blocked because he was able to get the pictures. And do you remember last night, Dee Dee? I know you were drunk. I know that you were not yourself. You weren't sober. You were drunk. We saw it. You left the room to go vomit in the bathroom or take a shower or something. And while you were gone, what was your man doing? What was he doing? Go back and watch the live stream. He was looking at spicy videos of Chantal repeatedly, watching the same one over and over with a smile on his face and trying to get away with pleasuring himself on camera. Does that strike you as the behavior of a man who hates a woman? No. Chantal and Natter, they got some kind of weirdness going on. Okay, I, I can't define it exactly what it is. I think he doesn't like her in some regards, but likes her in others. Maybe they're both degenerates and they got some weird fetishes and she loves degradation and he loves giving it to her. I don't know. I'm not in their bedroom and I don't want to be. But you're over here saying, oh, he's not into Chantal. He's not talking to her. That's a, that is a bunch of bunk. That is not true. 
if they're not talking on the phone, communicating on the phone, she's all up in his chat like she was last night under a sock because she can't help herself. She was in his chat last night. Hi, Morning Stars. We saw you. Got the screenshots, girl. Busted. You always give yourself away, Chantal. Foodie was quiet last night. She didn't do any live streams because she was so busy watching Natter and being up in his chat. Chantal and Natter are weirdly obsessed with each other. Weirdly obsessed. And she's been quiet today. Another tell. She could be on a live stream, but Natter's court case was today. So isn't it funny she's been quiet all day? Hmm. Wonder why. Bet you guys anything they're on the phone right now. And for those who are wondering what happened today with that, it's been postponed until March 22nd. So the wheels of justice have not caught up to Natter yet. He did another postponement. So yeah, they're probably on the phone right now or they're going to talk at some point. That's why she's been so quiet. But back to you, Dee Dee. Back to you. It seems like you guys over there, you are so bothered by people saying this is all fake. And you're bothered by it because you're profiting from this. You're benefiting from this. The money that she gives him, he gives to you. It helps to pay for groceries and rent and whatnot. You're in on this. You're part of this. That's why you're trying to do some damage control and say, oh, it's not, it's not true. It's real. Maybe there are parts of it are real. But there are other parts that are fake, very, very fake, very planned, very scripted. And you know what? Let's go over here to Twitter. I love Twitter. People posting stuff all the time. This is the account shenanigans. Hey, shenanigans. Hey, girl. Miss talking to you. Pick up the phone once in a while. <laughs> okay. Before we get into Dee Dee, though, let me just add this in real quick. So this is Foodie's community post that she just posted today. Unblocking day, many have messaged me regarding being unblocked, and I will do my best to get this sorted. If I missed you, please let me know on Instagram or email. Chantal only unblocks people when she's lacking in money and she needs money. She's got five people on her payroll right now. She's got herself, Pete, Natter, Dee Dee, and Sala. There might be more than five, but she's got five people on her payroll. She got to pay for all of them because ain't none of them supporting themselves. So she needs that money. So, of course, she's going to be nicer to people than she normally is. She's going to be unblocking people because when she has people blocked, she can't get their money. She needs it right now, y'all. She needs it. So we're going to get nice Chantal for a minute, but give it time. The nasty Chantal will come out. OK, so let's go to these text messages. Again, again, she said, oh, they, 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 they stopped talking in the summer. Look at all the things she was saying to, to Natter. Baby, you want me to pick you up on Friday in Montreal? And you can say you just finished getting stuff in Gatineau. They were, they were already planning with this message how to lie their way around their audiences. Oh, I'm not seeing him. He's disgusting. He's abusive. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. He's so abusive. You were going around the block to go see him. All right. You can do videos all weekend. We can eat, yada, yada. And we will be super careful. I will park at the giant tiger. So what? Nobody could see your car? So the Kiwi farmers couldn't find out? I, I can't imagine being this sneaky for an abusive person. Like, as abusive as you say they are, you're working your, your best to stay hidden so you can keep seeing them. Ugh. She's telling him what she wants to eat. And this is, I guess he's showing the video where all of this occurred, like right about the same timeline. What else we got here? What else? What else? Oh, he stopped talking to Chantal, right, Dee Dee? He stopped talking, talking to Chantal. He was, he, even though they hate each other, Dee Dee, even though he could have blocked her, he could have blocked her and she would not have been able to send all these messages during the summer. He kept them going. He kept them going. 
She didn't block him. He didn't block her. There has to be a reason. It, it doesn't mean that he likes her. He's just bleeding her for money. And didn't you say last night in the live stream, you said after she pressed those charges that you encouraged him to take her to the cleaners. Clean her out, you said. Take her for everything she's got. So if you have that attitude, Dee, Dee of revenge, vengeance, she's done you wrong. Go ahead, do her wrong. I don't. I seriously doubt that if he can get more money out of her and it's not the summertime, it's going more into fall, winter, that you're going to cut that off, especially if you're having problems with your employment. Maybe you've lost your job or you just want the extra money. Just because it was the end of summer that you're going to say, hey, Natter, stop talking to her. No, you're going to keep that going. So what do you mean he hasn't talked to her since the summer? What do you mean? She's got the money and the both of you were in it to win it, to get as much as you could out of her. So, yeah, you're not going to block her on your phones. You're going to keep letting her do video chats and messages and voicemails. And hey, Dee, Dee question. You hate this woman, but you've had sex with her twice, girl. Twice. What's that about? You hate her, but you did the most intimate of things with Chantal. The most intimate of things. How could you do that? I can't imagine having sex with an enemy, but I guess you could if the price is right. And it sounds like there was a price. Bleed her for everything she's got, Natter. Maybe that was part of it. I don't know. More messages. What else we got here? Oh, not playing that. And here's the post you did about her being fake and vile. You know what, Didi? You're fake and vile. In fact, all three of you are. All three of you are. All three of you are fake and vile. All this supposed hate online, yet you're going to have a little get together twice and, and do something intimate together. It's fake. Obviously, it's fake because you can't hate somebody for real and then turn around and take your clothes off with them. I don't even make sense. It don't even make sense. You're just bothered over there because you and Natter need money. Chantal's got the money. She's coming home in about 10 days, nine days. You want that money. So you guys are doing damage control. There's a feeling in the community that all this stuff is fake. You're all three worried about how that's going to affect the overall income of all three. So you're trying to come forward and say, oh, it's not fake. It's not phony. You remember what you did April 1st, April Fool's Day, you getting online and telling people that Natter went to jail when he didn't go to jail. It was a prank. It was a teach everybody a lesson. Can we really believe you, Didi? Can we believe you for being truthful? No, no. Your credibility was shot to hell after what you did. We haven't believed you since. You're not some innocent victim. You are an accomplice and you are benefiting from this. You even said so in the live last night. You said after the charges were put on him, you said take, take her for everything she's got. You came out of your own mouth. Don't care if you were drunk or not. You said that. I'm holding you accountable. So deal with what comes, Dee Dee. Deal with what comes. You and Natter and Chantal and anybody else involved, deal with it. You're all three horrible people. And all this private stuff that you put in front of us that we really did not want to be a part of. Because what's going on between the three of you should be a private affair. All three of you have phones, but yet you're not using them to discuss things back and forth. You want this whole thing to be a three ring circus so that you can financially benefit. You're turning what should be private into a public spectacle. And you're stressing out the public. So if Chantal loses money. And by doing so, Natter loses money and you lose money. Don't care. Deal with that. You're hurting for money. Go out and get a job. All three of you. You should anyway. 
YouTube is not income you can count on forever. Anyway, but no, it's you. He's not talked to her since the summer. Lies. Lies. She sent him a picture of Sala. She sent him messages before she left for Kuwait. They've been talking to each other through their YouTube channels, talking to each other and about each other. They both have admitted publicly that they need each other for money. Natter said, I need to talk about Chantal because she helps to make me money. And obviously Chantal feels the same way because once upon a time, she offered him half her paycheck to participate in this drama. So they both outed themselves. So how can you make this community post and say it's not scripted, it's not fake, it sure is. It sure is. So reap what you sow, Didi. Reap what you sow. All right. I'm done with this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this react. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and have a really good day. Bye-bye.